well. If pain makes you stronger, the path of the wizard, Ratslin Magia, is on the right path. Last fire, we talked about how the frail Ratslin's mother had died of grief. Now, the death of most people would not face the less than cordial youth, but his mother was one of the rare few who he cared for. In total disregard for himself and wallowing in grief, he stood by her funeral regardless of the weather and his deteriorating health. The result of which drew him into a deep fever and a possible near grave beside his mother. But once again, he survived. And again, like in his infancy, by the help of his half-sister, Kitara Utmata. The family's woes, though, were not over as after Ratslin's recovery, Caramon, his twin, suddenly was overwhelmed by terrible nightmares. So much so, that Ratslin had to use his magic to put his brother to a peaceful sleep. After this spell of bad fortune, this is when the heroes of the lands will start to form, with the twins meeting a young man from Solamnia called Strum Brightblade, who together captured a gang of thieves who worked in Solus. Two years from then, they also met the now-famed Tannis Half-Elven, the Kender Tasselhoff Burfoot, and a dwarf metalsmith. My personal favourite, Flint Fireforge. The early adventures they would have would give good experience to Rutslin to grow his magical skills. He even managed to pick up herbalism to help with his health, and also along the way, the almost paralyzing pain of the joints of old Flint. The twins, along with many of the future heroes of the lands, were in Haven for a market fair when an old acquaintance was there to greet the twins. This was Judith of the cult of Belzor, who was the woman who, in a way, put their mother to an early grave. There they found that Judith was actually a renegade wizard, who was using her magic to trick the townspeople. Raslin proved she was fake by showing she was using magic and not the powers of a god. This had a twofold effect of destroying her cult and turning the townspeople against her. Successful, the twins returned to Solus, found the town in the throes of a plague, which even killed Drum Brightblade's mother. The herbalism of Ratsilin here proved more than helpful with dealing with the crisis and relieving the pain of the sick and dying. It is later after this that the offer came for Ratsilin to take the famous test of high sorcery. A result of Ratsilin still being an untested wizard, casting a spell still considered illegal for his level of initiation into the magical arts. The conclave of wizards though, instead of punishing him, decided he should take the test. Thus summoned to Weyref Forest, the legend of Ratsilin would start to take root, as he was only 20 and no one so young had ever taken the torturous test whose price for failure was death. Aramon, ever the watchful brother, accompanied his twin to keep him safe. Unable by conclave law to tell anyone where they were going, the companions of the lance went their separate ways to achieve their own personal quests. They all agreed to meet five years later in the inn of the last home to find proof of true gods in Grin. So what and how would the future master of past and present be tested? Well, as a hint, it will come to define Ratslin and arguably be the biggest event that will impact his life. Till next word.